what's up guys double here again welcome back to black sea we are doing a another another assault yes uh same battle size same length of battle and all that stuff uh open environment map size medium same drill uh i want to just get this done with uh not get this done with but i want to kind of try out all the different aspects before we move into larger battle sizes different types of maps really try and utilize uh this game at its full potential and just try everything i mean there's so much that this game has to offer i'm really excited uh we're gonna be doing a mix mix uh russian army attacking again but this time we're gonna be playing as the defending u.s army uh everything else is gonna remain the same um so let's jump in it straight away i'm excited to play as the defender here for the first time here we go um okay but my bad notice that straight away uh since i'm playing as the defender i'm gonna give the the u.s army my unit selection and of course the attacking russian army is going to be doing the automatic selection there i was like whoa that's a lot of cash for the defending side uh let's see how much i get this time around Ooh, <laughs> roughly half of that okay um right uh different types of units here i've noticed um interesting stuff a combined arms battalion is like I mean, this task force here for 41246 is like the most expensive thing I've ever seen in this game. It's like absolutely crazy. Two rifle companies, two armored companies, headquarters and all that kind of stuff. Uh, absolutely crazy. I might even want to bring in some air support, but it's quite expensive with the cash we have. So I think I'm going to rely a lot on infantry here. Um, like weapons companies with... Uh, maybe not a weapons company, but people with AT... Uh, infantry Battalion, uh, the weapons company's got, hmm, unmanned drones and stuff. Where's my, hmm, fire support team. Javelin, here we go. We need, we need rifle platoons. Um, that's exactly what we need. Um, the task force infantry battalion is quite a lot more expensive because it just, it actually just involves more things. Uh, the rifle company should allow us everything we need. So let's just go straight up with a rifle company. A company, it's got first platoon. Uh, some forward observers, some javelin teams, weapon teams, just a lot of, you know, infantry. And we also have a mortar section here, a light mortar section. Um, eh, they'll probably they'll probably work on their own because they don't have a, a spotter, as, I've, as I'm concerned. Um, RQ-11B Raven unmanned drone, good for scouting, I guess. Actually, it's quite expensive. I think I'm going to cut down on that one. Uh, this mortar section, we'll delete that one as well, and we'll get ourselves a, a um, uh, dedicated artillery section. Uh, different... I mean, the, the thing is with artillery, though, on a map like this and when they're assaulting is that if we zero something in, it's going to take a while until it lands. And that's why I'm not going to be going with any artillery support as the defending side here. The Russians are going to be so aggressive and they're going to really aim to take this point within the 30 minutes that they have. And da -da 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 -da. I just don't think they're going to have anything that's going to be stationary for, for a longer amount of time. So, um, no, I'm skipping out on that. I'd rather spend some on, on armored here. Uh, let's get an armored company. Um, hmm... Let's get the armored company mixed and see what we can do about that. Uh, third platoon's rifle, which means a lot of Bradleys. That's kind of good. Um, that's a good thing to have in the mix. I think I'm going to remove one platoon here. We got some main battle tanks. We're going to have to skim down on, on some of these guys. Actually, that, that first platoon is ridiculously expensive. Uh, we can barely afford... Uh, 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 just a, a rifle platoon here with Bradleys. Um, crazy. We might just have to go with a mix and do uh, single vehicles. Um, mechanized infantry. Hmm. Cold section, supply section, man pads. Man pads is good to have, I guess, but I just don't think they're going to bring in any, uh, any air as well. Strikers. I believe strikers are fairly efficient against armored they have a they pack a pretty good gun um hmm. anti-armor company though Ooh, we can afford that entirely strikers yeah strikers are good against armor i didn't even know they were in the anti-armor company that's nice uh we'll cut down on two platoons and we'll be left with roughly five strikers that's nice to have and we're getting another weapons company i think Salt platoons. I just don't know what they consist of. They're quite expensive for infantry. Um, brigade engineer battalion, combat engineer companies, a lot of Humvees, some light stuff. I'm not sure we want that. Um, cavalry troops. Ooh, expensive. Really expensive. Bradleys. I guess that's kind of nice. How many do we need to cut down on? 
Now we can't afford a single one there. We can only afford like the actual HQ team. It's a little too little on my side. Ah, man, we have a lot of more. <laughs> we have like half the points remaining. Um, I'm not sure what to spend it on. Um, I want stuff that's very defensive. LBS. What's LRS? I wish I knew what LRS is. God. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, anxiety. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, forward observer section. Should I get some air support? I mean, we can call in an Apache or something. Ah, uh, we can't, we can't afford that. Uh, we can afford some of these, uh, scout drones. I don't want that. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's get another, okay, we'll do this. We'll get another, uh, company. We'll get an armored company, like just, uh, the cheapest one. What's that? Uh, armored company. Mm, we'll just get an armored company. There we go. And then we'll just skip down on like one, two, three platoons. And then we'll have like the HQ and the, the two Abrams and, and a Bradley. And then we'll just go with some uh, specialist teams and stuff like that. So we want two more Javelin teams. I love Javelins. We need high caliber sniper. There we go, M110. Is that the highest caliber one? Is it like the 338? Oh, M107. M107, is that the is that the fitty? Is that the fitty cal? M1010. Or M110 is the the like the M16 lookalike thing, isn't it? It's not I know it's not. I know I I I I know what it is, okay? But it's not that heavy mortar squad. Let's get two then. Nah. I was pretty Okay, let's get some two saw teams and then let's just get a single vehicle. What can we afford? Reconnaissance MK19. This should be an interesting mix. I, I I mean, we're utilizing all the resources we have at our disposal. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that this should be fairly good. It all depends on the map that we're going to be uh, put up against. Or the map that we're going to be put on, rather said. Uh, man, it took me a lot longer selecting the units for this game than it did for any of the previous two. I guess when you're defending, you're thinking about it in a whole different way. Like, you have less... You have half the resources, and you need to be able to hold against double that. They can bring in, I mean, whole full companies of armor and, and you know, BMPs, mechanized infantry. Uh, we got to sit tight with, a, with just a handful of tanks, uh, depending on what we select. But I think this should be a pretty good setup. A lot of infantry, that's what I wanted to get. Oh, we're on the same map. We are on the exact same map after an automatic selection. Interesting, because I kind of wanted to try to defend this map. Um... See if I can hold firm with what I said about not having any people in the houses. Because oh, it's kind of kind of pleasing. Uh, first platoon HQ. This is A Company. A Company is going to hold the right side. Thank you very much. This is just C Company HQ. They're the, the armor, I believe. Ooh. Yeah, that's the armor stuff. Try and keep these guys around here. There we go. Good stuff. We'll leave them there. This is the anti-armor company. Okay. Ugh. Oh, it's going to suck so much if they have artillery. And I know I can call in artillery straight off the bat as a defender. I just don't want to. Okay. Don't hate. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what kind of range these guys have. Can they target something back here? They can. Okay. Well, then I'm definitely keeping... Oh, don't open up. Nope. Keeping one in here facing that direction. So they can push fire straight over the open. Uh, that'll be perfect. Then I'm going to have one over here. Facing that way. I mean, yeah, they can target pretty much anything around here. It's only like a thousand meters. I think I want to back him up just a bit. There we go. Two over there. So that they can cover the, the entire area once they actually come out. We'll keep one over here. Now nah, that's a little a little shallow, a little too tiny up there. We'll split the rest up into uh, hmm. sections over here. There we go, that's one. Man, I wish I could kind of like back it up in here. I kind of can, but I'm afraid it's going to hit the trees when it fires. It probably is, and it's going to make a big boom. Actually, that's probably fine. I want to take a bet and hope that this is just fine. We'll face it out just slightly that way. There we go. <laughs> That's the first platoon HQ, so he's gonna be okay. He's gonna have he's gonna be a little further away from the rest, guys. And now this is just HQ support, isn't it? 
Anti Armor Company HQ. Well, we'll just we'll just hook you guys up in some buildings over here. <laughs> uh, you can stand right there. Face that direction in case anything pops over the hill. You know what to fire at. There we go. We've got another striker here. This one's just got a 50 cal. So it's not really good against anything here that we're, that we're looking to fight. Uh, infantry and lighter vehicles. But I don't think the Russians are going to be too light on us this time around. So we'll try and keep ourselves in cover here. Uh, armor. I'm placing you on the left side. Um, not sure if I want to edge it and keep you guys up here straight away. Ah, uh, oh man. This is tricky. Because I knew, I knew how well I did on this map playing as the Russians, and now I'm just afraid of, of getting absolutely slaughtered here playing against them. And I know for a fact that the Russians are going to be bringing just so much stuff. Because um, that's what you can do when you play as the attacker. And I'm just afraid that I ain't going to be able to keep up with that. But something tells me I want to defend this a little closer than, than too far away. I want to... Uh, this should be a pretty good spot but it takes time deploying targeting is okay they can there's no line of sight here but they can cover most of that area there's some trees here that they can shoot through and they can cover that entire area up there so in general they're kind of covered here by the forest as well and if if the russians can shoot them we can shoot them uh or shoot us they we can shoot them that's that's more the the way it goes around here so i'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be fairly okay Saw teams. I don't want to crowd this forest because of any explosion difficulties, but I'll keep a saw team up here. I'll keep another saw team here. Or, yeah, wait, right there. Actually, right there. And then we'll keep one team right here. Javelins. Ooh, a little too close for comfort. I think I'm going to put these guys on the edge here. Are they deployed? Yeah, they're deployed. Good. We'll see what they can target. So if anything gets blown up here, hopefully that won't kill too many people around it. So that's going to be a pretty nice force line. Uh, let's get some of these guys pulled back somewhere else. Thinking just around here should be fine. Let's get a javelin team right here on the edge. Uh, see if they can target anything down there. I'm a little afraid that they're going to get hit from the, the high grounds here on the right side. But... Um, I think I'll just keep them right there behind so that they can sneak out and do damage. Do damage. Keep a sniper team on the edge right there. And then we'll keep another sniper team in this town. Building with two floors? No. That'll have to do. Actually, we'll put them right on the edge there. Good for you guys. Good for you. Yeah, and that's the gun I was talking about. It's, <laughs> it's not an M16. It looks like an SR. SR8? No. I've had an SR airsoft gun. SR something. Second platoon HQ. Second platoon, you're holding that. Third platoon, you're holding over here. Ah, man. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky. First platoon, I want you guys holding back here. Yeah, I mean, this is, um, this is going to be a little sweaty. I'm starting to sweat already. Because <laughs> I spoke about how I defend this map and how I just got to live up to it. But you can't always help what the enemy's going to bring. Yeah, that's a javelin team. They're going to be able to engage anything that comes over the hill. Uh, and I don't want to put them too deep into the forest because you never know what they're going to hit. They might just not hit anything. They might just hit the, the, the whatever's in front of them and kill themselves. We'll spread out some MG teams on each side here. They're going to be deployed. And they're going to be able to fire, hopefully. Let's see what we can target. Uh, reverse slope. No, they can target that. That's good. And then we're going to be facing all teams upwards. We'll have one infantry team here in the center forest. Some more teams further back here. Level one there. And one on the edge of the fort town right there. We'll have a scouting team. Kind of in the center. Oh, uh, wait. We'll have one team. Uh, on the far right there. And we'll have the HQ in between. Boys, we are facing that direction. Right there is where Evan's going to be coming from. 
Okay, now for these guys. Slightly more to the rear. But I don't want them to be too in the open. Too much in the open, that's... That's a good spot. That's a good... No, wait. Uh, that's a good spot. I want them on the flank. Some machine gun support. One right there. One right here. Third platoon can be in the center back here. I'll leave a scout team here. Because why the hell not? And then we have some more infantry that we can kind of set up here on the edges. We'll have one back here for remaining support reasons. And then we should face these guys. that direction. So let me just make sure you guys are facing the right way. Oh yes, you guys are. So you guys are on the slight wrong side of things. Wait, what? Guys. There's so many trees around here, I don't want you shooting into trees. Well, that should be fine. Got that stuff covered. Let me just look at the javelin teamer, make sure everything's fine. Yeah, you guys can target. Good. Oh, starting to feel the pressure now. Man, I gotta hold this place. I gotta win this. Now I really wanna win this. First platoon. You guys just dig out in that building right there. Keep a scout up front here so you guys can keep radio contact. First squad. Place you guys there. Second squad right here. Third squad, right. Ugh. Third squad here. Javelins. You guys need to be my... You're my acting acting firepower here. Truth be told, that's kind of how it is. I want one section right here. Javelins right there. Cover everything nicely. We're going to see a lot of javelins go off in this game. I can assure you of that. And I even think I'm going to have one... Th Team right on the edge here. They're going to be covering that open area. Open area quite nicely. Quite nicely, yes. And then we'll have a MG team right there. And we'll have an MG team right there. That means these guys are pretty much ready to go. We'll just get the HQ. And we'll just make sure that these guys are facing that direction. Are we ready? I think we are. Holy shit, it takes a long time to set up. This is going to be a long video. Oh man, I'm so excited. Where are the Russians going to bombard me? Where are we going to be taking so much artillery fire that we're just going to absolutely just wither away? I think we got this place pretty much locked down. Got infantry ready to engage the enemy. Come on, boys. Army boys, let's fucking do it. Look at that saw. Look at this freaking NATO. Look at these billions of dollars. So quick. Oh. Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't... Oh, my fucking Russians. Hold your position. Oh, man. They're bombarding the places that... That, yeah, that I would probably occupy. Such as the, the center village here or this left side. I'm not surprised they're doing it. We just gotta hold tight now. Ivan is bringing your coffee, guys. Ivan is bringing your coffee. I'm actually gonna be pulling these guys out here to the... Kind of stopped for a second. Hell, I'll just bring these guys out. Yeah, we'll bring <laughs> we'll bring those guys into the building. This building was hit directly. I'm glad I would. Oh, here comes another go. Uh. Oh man, this is some heavy artillery. But hey, the more money they spend on artillery, the less they're going to have to actually capture the zone with. Oh. Man, I'm glad they're not hitting the forest line here. They're actually aiming directly at the center of this village. A few stray shots landing here and there, but in general, quite okay. Oh, we got a few wounded around this area, but this side is perfectly fine. Oh, we got vehicles coming up. I'm just excited now to see when javelins... Ooh, two penetrations straight away. Probably my Abrams tanks there that hit these guys up. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, BTR-80 and uh, what seems to be a T-90 
Not my kind of T90 that I deployed, but just a more classic one. Oh, here comes the Javelin. Ah, straight on the fucking top of that one. Good, good, sweet stuff, sweet stuff. Oh, man. Look at this guy in his optics and shit. Man, we're taking so much heavy artillery. All right, pause, pause, pause. I need a good screenshot for this. It's going to summarize this video. Maybe not two Americans behind a tree, but... What's another good stuff? Okay, we're taking some fire over here. Not not a bunch of guys covering either. Uh, not a burning striker. Not a bunch of dudes pulling back. I just need something that's steadfast. That shows the motivation behind my guys. Maybe just like something like this. Ah, we'll let things go. And play a lot, play along. Oh man, dude, like the back of a javelin team? That will be felt wheat. Yeah, and some burning Russian vehicles back there. Totes, man, totes. Oh man, this could be cool. I'm so ready, I'm so ready. Fire that javelin bow. And you see the Russian vehicles coming over in the center. Oh, that's a javelin. Strike down. Oh, yes. They're going to create themselves a little bit of a graveyard of vehicles here. But, man, their oh, their artillery is absolutely fucking me up in the center. I mean, they are bringing down heavy artillery here. This is... Oh, it's going to suck. I'm just glad my, my vehicles on this side are, are holding out uh, fairly well. Something tells me they've kind of skipped... The, the right flank here, they're going for a really heavy center push. Uh, man, we are actually right now destroying a lot of vehicles here. But I'm just waiting for more of their heavy armor to move up over the side. I'm going to bring my Bradley up here and let that have a go at the enemy as well. Hopefully we'll see it use its uh, side rockets there. Its era rockets. I believe that's what it is, right? Era? Oh my god, look at this. So many vehicles. I think they're trying to find some targets. Ooh, here comes another javelin. I love my fucking javelins. So glad I picked a lot of infantry. Oh man. Oh man. Oh jeez, a lot of javelins coming down. Got more infantry. A lot of lighter vehicles here like the BTR 80s and stuff. Uh, truth be told, with the, the with the kind of defense that I have, quick moving BTR 80s and 82s and BMPs and all the stuff that they have deployed in masses here uh, should be just perfect enough to get my guys nailed it down. But I think they're a little slow on the go here. They there's just oh my god, so much fire that these guys are taking right now. Oh my fuck yeah, javelin dude. Oh man, um, that's exactly the kind of defense I wanted to go for. Probably took less casualties than I thought here in the center. The sniper team is okay. But the center village is absolutely destroyed. If I placed the platoon here, I would have been dead long ago. So, I mean, this is perfect. Um, if I were the Russians, I would try and move up a little closer. They have a lot of smoke screens here. And I think in general, my infantry and armor is kind of well hidden. But I think they're starting to steer some guys in right now. Look at the amount of BTR-82s over here. How can I deal with this? Oh, man. I mean, how many? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Already in the center. Not to mention the people out here on the side, but there's just so many more BTRs alive and open and ready to go. I mean, they're coming over here. Wow, this is one way to. I mean, this is a Stonewall, man. This is the Stonewall Brigade. <laughs> General Jackson's, man. Holy hell. He's some good sheep, man. So he's got the MK-19. I want this guy to stay in the party. Man, I mean, now it would have been a good time to have artillery just line that out and over the entire side here. But the Russians are starting to be a little more aggressive now on this left side. They're, they've realized their mistake by, by staying too static. 
I guess you're gonna have some sort of organizational issues here getting out of this. There's like, okay, but right, trying to get through, trying to get through. But they have some of the BTRs here, obviously, opening up. They have this T90 here, took some fire. Just gonna return fire, and we'll see what kind of damage they can do to my defending armor. Right now, we might just pin these guys enough. Oh, man. A lot of Russian infantry. I see infantry all over the place. Oh, man. What a chaotic attack. Jesus Christ. Maybe it's time that I increase the, the AI difficulty as well. Um, I played on, on Warrior, which is kind of normal to hard for a long time now, but I think I'm going to amp it up just a little bit. But their artillery could have been way more devastating if I would have just placed out my units differently. I mean, this target here, if that would have just moved a couple of meters to the right, this this entire section would have been gone. No doubt about it. And now that the enemy is bringing up a lot of infantry, I think it's about time we move our guys up here as well. And these guys took a direct hit, so this javelin team is a rest in pepperoni, so to speak. Let's bring up the 50s. Come on, boys. What the fuck are we gonna do now? Man, I love it. Whoa, ATGM! Ah! Right to the striker. It is down, it is down. Gunner's a casualty. He died instantly. I think I'm gonna reverse these guys behind the corner again. Yeah, you got smoke now, so when you want to pop it. Get down, get down, get down. All right, good pullback, good pullback. These guys are still holding. Sniper team, fine. No casualties so far. Bringing them up next to my Bradley here on the side. Saw teams are opening up in the infantry. We've got a... Abrams there opening up. Scout team. I mean, some saw teams here in the center with enough ammunition. Some belt-fed guns like these are going to put a lot of strain on the Russians. Um, it's looking damn good. Oh, pulling back, pulling back. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this right side is a graveyard, but there are a lot of... Oh, this one's knocked out. So some of these vehicles that you think are like, why are they just statically standing there? They're actually knocked out. And uh, to see what we've achieved with, I mean, just javelins and spread out, you know, units all over the field. It's just insane. You can put so much effective uh, firepower on the enemy here. I mean, really what it comes down to is positioning and quality. I mean, look at the damage that we've done with a few resources. Here's another javelin. That one missed though, unfortunately. But look at the amount of Russians coming over this hill. There are so many infantrymen. Uh, and, I mean, obviously, my the kind of the kind of defense that I've established here is not meant to counter infantry in masses. It's meant to to really just uh, punch a big hole in the Russian armor, which it has done. But it has just way many more infantrymen than I've expected. All these are squads and teams. Uh, fair enough. A lot of these guys are uh, dismounted crewmen, uh, but they are moving up now, and it's uh, it's going to put a lot of strain on my front defense here. Our uh, MMGs here, our general purpose machine guns are putting a lot of fire on the enemy though. M240s. Love them. Love the sound they make. Come on, boys. Born on them. Oh, sweet. Doom. This guy's uh, tending to a guy here. Casualties. Uh, Receiving some medical support. Left side is starting to take some hits now. So this reconnaissance vehicle has been pussying out a bit. And I don't mean that it's not <laughs> fit for fight, but it's just moving back a lot. And we, I'd actually really like to have the... Oh no, we've lost the gunner. Um, that explains a lot. Let's uh, let's bring this guy around to the, to the scout team here. And let's have these guys mount up. Let's go, let's go! We got a call, we need it in that Humvee, let's move! 
Alright, let's go, Mitchell. Bradley's opening up nicely. I feel that this is like one of those, you know, Call of Duty action games when you're kind of like the outnumbered Americans. Like, you're always outnumbered. The Russians are always many more than you. Although, the Americans have like <laughs> a larger a larger army, bigger budget, more stuff, you know? Maybe not more tanks or, or, or infantry fighting vehicles, but as far as I'm concerned, more, more active personnel. Maybe not reserves, but you know. Point is, um, in, in a lot of games, you always, I mean, obviously, because they're focused on being action games where you, a single soldier, is supposed to kill hundreds of enemies. But you always get that feeling that you're always slightly outnumbered. There's always something funky like that going now. Um, and I've, I've got that feeling right now, and it's obviously because we're defending, but it's amazing what, would, what we've actually achieved here. Uh, these guys are... I'm going to send them back in there. Left side is holding okay right now. Right side is going to be receiving a lot of heat. A lot of hate too, probably. Let's move these guys up. Took some casualties up here in the front, but now that the striker's down, it's not going to attract too much fire, so let's bring up some more infantry over there. Got some squads that are fairly okay. I would like to move these guys over the open here and closer to the defend point, because we do still need to defend that point. We can't sit back too much. So I think if we move this tactically, we're going to be pretty okay. We can move a lot of infantry through the forest line up here. It's going to be a small stretch to cross in the center, but we should be fine. We got javelins on the right side. MG teams that are just pinning the enemy quite heavily right now. MP40s working their ass off. We got the third platoon HQ here giving out orders. First squad. They got an XM8 or the M25. That's nice. Exmate, that's a German assault rifle if I'm not too wrong. Could be Austrian, I think it's German, I'm not sure. Uh, third squad here as well. Infantry team in the building, had a few wounded. Right now they're defending this nicely. Another general purpose machine gun team here in the open. I mean, they're just burning rounds right now trying to hold back the, the Russians. And there are literally just Russians pouring out of this force now. A lot of them are pinned because they are receiving a lot of fire. We still have javelins uh, shooting away here. Let's look at a general stat. It's, uh, one javelin remaining for this team, uh, which is not too much. Uh, we got this one's empty. Um, this one's got two. That's good. This one's got one. That's that's okay. Here comes a grenade launcher shot, I believe, or a javelin. Probably a grenade launcher. Uh, not sure. That was quite a long range though for a grenade launcher, so could have been a javelin. Uh, further back here, this vehicle is okay. It's got one ATGM remaining. Uh, it's got ten, though, apparently here. So it's ten plus one, I think. It's lost its buddy vehicle there on the far right side. Uh, but in general, as far as uh, the attacking armor right now, I don't think we're going to need many more javelins. Right now, we're going to need just uh, small arms to counter their... Um, to counter their infantry that's coming at us in masses. they got 15 minutes to make the approach. Something tells me they, uh, they're they very capable of doing so. They've set up a pretty nice line of defense here in the forest. We've got a lot of infantry in the center. Probably a lot of discouraged infantry. I mean, this is crazy, guys. Someone out there is probably mad that the Russians didn't do better. Or that they haven't done better so far. Probably complaining about the AI and all that. But this is the difficulty we've been playing against for months and months of me playing this game. So... And we've lost battles in the previous past as well, so it's not a big surprise. It's just, uh, this time, Javelins and Positioning won the fight. Or is winning the fight. We haven't won it yet. So he's got one remaining. Two there. So that's another four vehicles we can essentially bust. That guy's empty. That guy's empty. we got one guy over here on the side. So that's pretty much all for the Javelin side. We obviously have the two Abrams here, main battle tanks, that are still very combat efficient. And, uh, and active, should I say. Yeah, these guys are probably even firing a few grenades. Uh, why can't we target? Hmm. 40 times 53 millimeter HTP. Well, they are in the they are in the seat. Why can't they? Maybe they'll target it uh, automatically. Everyone's in a good spot. Saw team's are in a great spot. 
And the Abram tanks now are being able to fire to the right side here. They got a perfect coverage. Any vehicles that are still moving and that are combat efficient are going to be turned into some pretty ineffective pieces of metal pretty soon. We're still holding this line. Infantry made it over fairly safely. Took a second squad took a couple of casualties crossing over. Not sure where those guys died. But they made it over. Russian artillery has stopped being efficient. I mean, not efficient, but they've stopped working. They've stopped bombarding. So I'm going to try and move some assets up the forest here and hold them at the front door. Really just reinforce our front cover here. Two squads there. That should be nice. So we're going to borrow some teams from the first platoon further back here. These squads are very combat efficient and very active. These teams right here are just opening up. Oh, look at this. Really cool stuff. We can spot the enemy there through their ACOGs and aim points. Oh, here's going to go the, the last javelin from this team is being fired now. It's going to try and hit that vehicle back there. That's a... An amphibious APC, PTR-82A, I believe. Javelin away. Oh, and it's a direct hit over the force line. Beautiful stuff, boys. Beautiful. This is going to be one of those battles where we're going to kill hundreds of Russians, or at least cause 100 casualties and lose, like, I'd say roughly a tops 50, 50 lives, a couple of vehicles. Maybe even less than 50. Here goes another Javelin. That is what I believe to be the last from that team. That's not a Javelin, actually. That's a grenade launcher. I believe that came from the XM25. Uh, some teams have them, some don't. There's one, XM25, I believe so. That could be more direct impact. That could also be a grenade launch. It's just a really pretty big shot. Yeah, a lot of high explosive rounds being put on the dead target now. And I think something tells me that the Russian assault has kind of stopped up now a bit. It's not it's not a lot of things going on here. Um <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I'm going to I'm going to stick to my position. I'm going to aim for a good score here. Usually I can get a little cocky and send out skirmishers to try and fight the enemy uh <laughs> preemptively. Okay, we've got one round left here. No line of sight on that thing, though. These guys got one as well. So if that BTR-80 moves up just a bit, it's going to lose its uh, it's lose its life very quickly. Man, these MG teams, I wonder how many guys they've killed. The ones at the front here with the MP40s. Like this one right here. They've probably gunned down a lot of Russians that have set their foot up here in the front. I mean, I can't wait to preview this map. Oof, they're so heavily pinned right now that I don't blame them. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Holy shit. It's a massacre. Crazy. Absolutely insane. People here are trying to counter my guys. I'm looking here, we're not... Ooh, we know where they're at. Yeah, that sniper's not going to want to look through the through the scope of his rifle for too long. He's going to get his head blown off. <clears throat> hmm. Rounds still dropping in. I think they've called in their second barrage of artillery right now. One part of me wants to do something crazy, though. We're going to do something crazy. And we'll see where it takes us. We're going to get this vehicle to the side here. We're going to start edging in on the flank. We got the, we got the, uh, we got the assets for it. I'm going to bring up some of these guys that are more anti-infantry. So this vehicle, this striker, and this Bradley. And we're going to start... Closing up on the left flank here to see what we can just gun down. 
Uh, I'm afraid they're going to have a lot of infantry that with, with the capacity to knock our vehicles out. I'm like, Look at this. Pure slaughter. I mean, they still probably have hundreds of men alive here on the battlefield. It's probably around roughly 20 or so alive here. 20. Another 20. Probably everywhere in the bushes. 20, 20. Could be up to 100 around here. But, I mean, most of these guys are currently pinned. This is a knocked out BMP. Uh, okay, one ATGM remaining. Two remaining, so they've not fired. That's one remaining as well. That one's empty now. Yeah, we've got a lot of nades coming up there from the distance. Yes. Alright, here comes the striker. There we go. Oh, someone died. Sounded pretty painful. Yeah. There we go. U.S. Army total victory. We had it. Oh my god. We, oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. Holy shit. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, uh. Oh my god. What a slaughter. Oh man, dude. This is not. I mean, this is crazy. This is some freaking Kursk shit right here. I mean, this is, wow. Breathtaking. I'm not sure how to put it. I'm, like, exhausted from playing this battle. Like, they're laying around dead bodies and, like, oh, my God. It's kind of crazy to see, actually. Yeah, this could have happened to any nation attacking, but this was just the perfect setup. Wow, don't look so good. Tap yourself in the shoulder, dude. We lost 23 men. We took roughly 30 casualties and 300 vehicles. 154 guys still active. 202 killed, 82 won. I mean, like, 300 casualties, 7 tanks, and 44 armored vehicles. Whoa, whoa. Crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle. See you guys soon again. Ciao.